Right, here we go again, guys. Thank you for your prayers. Much needed in this place, I'll tell you. God bless you, Bradford. We are here to tell you that time is running out, that this world is in for a rude awakening any moment now, when all these Christians disappear, when the rapture happens, when the Lord himself descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel from the trump of God, and he's going to gather up into heaven all who have ever believed on him. They will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, in the rapture. This is going to happen any moment. And then this world is going to get a shock. This world is in for a rude awakening during the great tribulation, which Jesus said would be a time so terrible there's never been a time like it, and there never will be again. Jesus said during the great tribulation apocalypse, seven year period, he said men's hearts will faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world. And you don't have to be here for it if you will but believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's so simple. God made it so simple. It's men that confuse the simplicity that is in Jesus. There's only one thing required of you for you to be saved and to know you're going to heaven. It's believe the gospel. When you know that Jesus died on the cross for you, when you believe that Jesus died on the cross for all our sin, he was buried and rose again from the dead, you will be saved. But except you repent, you will perish. That means you'll land in hell, in outer darkness, where you'll be utterly consumed with terrors forever and ever. And the Bible says that God doesn't want this. God wants all to be saved. And all can be saved, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever. If you are too proud, if your ego is getting in the way, then you must humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Time is running out, people. Time is running out. We are very close, extremely close, that it could happen any second now. Millions of people worldwide will vanish. They will disappear. When the Lord takes them up to heaven, he's going to draw all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Then sudden destruction is coming down upon this world. It's going to be terrible, people. It's going to be seven years called the Great Tribulation. Daniel's 70th week is going to be a nightmare. You don't have to be here for it. Just believe the gospel and you will be saved and taken up to heaven. But if you refuse the love of the truth, then you'll be left behind. You'll still be able to be saved. If you witness many people vanish, you'll still be able to be saved. But you must not take the mark of the beast. For this man is coming on the world stage, proclaiming himself to be the Messiah, but he's the false Messiah, the Antichrist, and he's going to cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, some kind of digital ID implant. You won't be able to buy or sell unless you have it. It's going to be hell on earth, but if you take that mark in the right hand or in the forehead, the Bible says you will be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The second death. Please repent and believe the truth, guys. We're running out of time. Jesus Christ is good. Are you ready? Have you believed? Are you saved? If not, you're on the path to hell. If you reject the Lord Jesus, you could end up in hell, utterly consumed with terrors in outer darkness. God doesn't want this. He wants all to be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Be a whosoever. You don't earn your salvation. You don't work for it. 
you receive it by having some faith and believing, yes, Jesus died on that cross for me. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sin, as it is written. He was buried and rose again on the third day, as it is written. Just believe this in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved, no matter what you have done. Even if you've murdered a thousand people and then went to the cross of the Lord Jesus and believed, Jesus, you died for me on that cross. If that person was to believe that Jesus died for them on the cross, they would be forgiven because the mercies of God are higher than the heavens. He will accept anybody and everybody who comes to him in truth. All you have to do is be honest in your heart. Honest enough to say, yes, of course I have sinned. Like the Bible says, all have sinned. All come short of the glory of God. And if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we say that we have not sinned, we're calling God a liar. So be humble. Don't let your pride stop you from entering into heaven. Be humble enough to acknowledge your sin condition. We've, we've all, we're all, all have sinned. All from short of the glory of God. And the wages, the pen, penalty, the end of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, no matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus. His own words are, I will not turn anyone away who comes to me. So all you have to do is be true. Recognize, yes, of course I have sinned. We've all lied, for starters. That's just one sin. Come on, be humble. Acknowledge, yes, of course I have sinned. We've all done things. We've all broken God's commandments. The Bible says the wages of this is death. That means hell. But the free gift of God, which he wants to give you, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, no matter what you have done, call on the name of the Lord and you'll be saved. All you have to do is believe that he died on that cross for you. Know that it was true that Jesus shed his blood for all our sin on that cross. Know it's true that he rose again from the dead and you will be saved. Save yourselves, people. You have a choice, heaven or hell. And there's only one name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ. Turn to him. He won't, he won't reject anybody who comes to him. Time is running out. Jesus could come today. That's how close we are. We're so close. In a twinkling of the eye, everything's going to change. This world is going to be turned upside down during the seven-year Great Tribulation Apocalypse period. It's going to be hell on earth. God will pour out his wrath, his indignation upon this world, which has turned his back on him. He will pour out his righteous judgments during the seven-year Apocalypse period. It's going to be hell on earth. You don't want to be left behind to face what's coming up on this world. And if you reject your Lord Jesus now, then remember what I said, that you'll still be able to be saved when you witness all these people banished, when Jesus takes them up to heaven, you'll still be able to be saved. But you must not take that mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead, because when you do, you'll be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Please repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus said, except you become like little children and be converted, you will never see the kingdom of heaven. So unless you're humble enough to admit, yes, of course I have sinned. Like the Bible says, we've all sinned. Be humble enough to acknowledge that. Don't let your pride get in the way. And then just believe on Jesus Christ. His final words were, on that cross, his final words were, it is finished, meaning the debt is paid in full, past, present and future sins. Jesus died for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day, as it is written in the Holy Scriptures. 
Just believe this in your heart and you'll be justified before the great God of the whole earth and call upon him and you'll be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And once you're saved, you can't lose your salvation because God seals you until the day of redemption, which is upon us at any moment. Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? Are you saved? Will you be left behind because you rejected the love of the truth? Jesus Christ, he said, I am the way, the truth and the life, the everlasting life. And no man comes to the Father but by me, he said. That means you won't make it to heaven without the Lord, without the Lord Jesus. You won't make it to heaven. Instead, you find yourself in hell. That's why we're here, because God doesn't want any. The Bible says God wants all to be saved. The Bible says all can be saved. No matter who you are, no matter what you have done, just believe, that's all. For by God's grace are we saved, through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is the free gift of God. It's not by our own good works, lest any man should boast. You know, I like God bless you. He's the goal. He's the goal, exactly, yes, amen. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the vulnerable and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and with brimstone, sulfur, the second death. Except you repent, you will all perish. Except you believe the gospel, you will perish. Except you believe the truth, you will perish. That means you'll land in hell. Sorry to tell you, but you'll land in hell. Don't be one of the ones who will only find out how real hell is when you land there. Get saved. Get on board the ark of salvation, which is Jesus Christ. The door of the ark is closing. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? Are you saved? If not, you'll be left behind. God bless you, Bradford. Time is almost over. The dispensation of God's church age is almost over. Jesus is coming for all believers. And then the apocalypse will begin. And except you repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, you will land in hell. Utterly consumed with terrorists, weeping away for eternity. Unless, unless you believe the truth. Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. I didn't realise I was not on for that long. Right, best stop. Have a, have a, have a moment. Whew, sad work. It really is. God bless you guys.